Harley Racing announced that Josh Williams will drive the No. 11 Xfinity car next season. Alloy Employer Service will be the sponsor. I think Alloy was the sponsor for him when he was at DGM Racing, but this is a big deal. Uh, you know, Josh Williams was most known for parking his car at the start finish line at Atlanta Super Speedway, Motor Speedway, after NASCAR told him to park it because he was uh, delaying the caution, not delaying, but he was extending the caution. Uh, some bear bond kind of fell off his car, so instead of parking it in pits or in the garage, he said, I'll park it at the finish line, so he got worldwide news or lots of attention for that. Um, but this is a big deal because Collins' motto is trophy hunting. You know, when Collins is a new team, it's only a couple years old, their whole motto was pursue trophies. They were going to go after trophies. They went and, got, they went and signed. I think one of the first drivers they signed was A.J. Dominator, a world-class road course driver, and a guy that can go out there and win in any car, in any road course, in any track. And and that was a big deal for him because that helped them. They got wins. They won road course races because of him, because of A.J. Dominator. So now it seems like calling racing is taking a different approach. They're going to help. They're going to try and develop Josh Williams to be a caliber, a guy that can go out there and win champions. I think Colin Racing on their cup side, they're not. They're not that good. They're, they have a lot of work to do on the cup side, but on the Xfinity Series side, they're they're race winning cars every week. I feel like they're championship level cars. Now they may be a little, a little bit behind when it comes to that the championship aspect, but they're good. Um, you know, Josh Williams' overall career stats in the Cup Series is uh, ten top tens. Zero top fives, zero poles. I was only in then nine laps. Average finish of 22.7. So I guess he's not had great stats. But I think they see uh, potential in him. And, you know, and look, it could also be because of money. We all know this sport has a, has a lot to do with money. Um, so it could be that he was bringing in a lot of funding. And Colin needs funding. And they see that this guy has a lot. And they see potential. And look, Josh Williams' personality uh, he has a great personality. If he can be successful and win, that's going to be big for the sport because he's a funny dude. He literally, after parking it in the start finish of Atlanta, he got sent to the Nassau Hall and had a big old shebang there. Well, then he went on on his own website and start and s- sold shirts and said, park it. And, he, and those shirts you could have bought on his website. So he took that, what well, he did, and he tried it and made money, and made money from it. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what calling what Josh Williams can do in this car. This is going to be Josh Williams' probably best opportunity he'll ever maybe get. And maybe if he performs really good in calling, he can move up. But it'll be also really, really interesting. We also we don't know what what um, calling will do with AJ Almendinger. And there's talks that he may go back to down to Xfinity or he'll stay with Cub. Uh, there's talks that Ty Dillon could be going to replace the 16 car, and AJ will come down to Xfinity. So. There's still a lot of news to come out with calling to see where, what direction they're going to take this. Uh, but uh, to me, this shows that calling racing is willing to maybe forfeit trophy hunting or trophy, you know, tr- trophy catching to go and help develop and build on a guy. So to me, that's that's good for Josh Williams. A big deal for him. Excited for him. I like Josh Williams. I think he he's he has personality. He he could be a star in this sport.